Yo, Gianna's kind of goaded, bro. I know, but I just caught her losing streak. Yeah, yeah. She was, she she was, was up, up three, three zips. Three zip against Westy. All right, come on, Gig. Now's your time to shine. There we go. Ah, oh. uh, she tried to angling it. Woo! Oh. Damn, bro. Oh. Woo! Woo! Oh. 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 Damn, bro. What the oh, fuck? Oh, oh, <laughs> this is the craziest game. Oh. oh, okay. I'll just stop filming right there. All right, it's game point 10 9 Weston. What? Oh. Was that in? Yeah. What the fuck? Go. Go. Oh. Oh. I don't know. And that's game. Good effort, oh, OG. Yeah. <laughs> I got the mics. You guys get no such luxury. You just got the shotgun mic, and that's it. <laughs> I'm going like this. Like. The gym is empty, bro. At least Dorian, what'd you say? <laughs> well, that, that. <laughs> yeah, over here. I got something to say. We've been here for a while now. I had to shoot some gorilla stuff, the multivitamin, which is actually pretty stacked. I think I might start taking it. Probably need it. Are you the pickleball champion, Madrid? I mean, I'd just be Weston, but we go back and forth. No, we didn't play. Again. Okay, even, even with Weston, that means you're an A-tier player, though. Yeah, I'm up there. You got to be in like the 99th percentile of like pickleball players. And She's up there, too. Y'all three are like tied, basically. I need to play. I need to he play. He said I was the worst one. Wait, Dorian. Wait, what? How are you good? And I'm really good at real tennis and, and table tennis. I played real tennis my okay, whole life. Okay, honestly, I think if you're good at tennis and you're good at ping pong, you're just naturally going to be great at pickleball because it's like a combination of the two. It's it literally feels like ping pong but just scaled up. I'm not. I'm like C tier, but I'm working my way up. I started at F tier. And unfortunately, my girlfriend is uh, better than me at this one specific athletic activity. Everything. One specific athletic activity and basketball. Y'all three are like tied, and then Gary and Robbie are like the kings, no. right? I, I, I'd, I'd argue with that too, but yeah. they're, they're like S tier for, for the young LA. As a people. duo, as a duo, they're definitely top two teams. Yeah, bro, they got that Indian energy that it's like telekinesis between them, bro. <laughs> And then, and then On God's Dad, right? On God's Dad is off. So he's like, crazy. On God's Dad comes yeah. in. He's like 60. He's got the headband on. He's got the socks pulled up to his knees. He's warming up like this. Tennis player. And, oh, is he? Is he an athlete? That's why I he's mean, good. Yeah. You know that exact fucking. Like he's so fucking good too. Oh. Anyway, let's get to this workout. We're hitting chest. You don't bench. Well, I don't bench. I don't. I do only like Smith machine and a dumbbell press. Pretty much. I normally do Smith Machine as well, but honestly, this Smith Machine hurts my ego a little bit because it's heavy, it's heavy as shit, man. It's heavy. I can get three plates for like five reps on there, but on here I can get like ten. Really? Yeah, I'm way stronger on free. Absolutely. Normally, it's the other way around. Normally, you get more on Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on this, on, on that Smith Machine, I can't I was fucking move. I'll my video for that one also for the T bar rolls. Because I was doing like with the two no, plates. That I... one, right, bro? That one is the heaviest shit. Yeah, we just filmed that yesterday, and I put like a plate on either side, and I'm like barely fucking. Yeah. Moving. So I'm telling like, you, know, I'm like, you know, in my video, I'm like, guys, just to tell you, like, I, maybe I'm strong, maybe I'm weak, but like, I remember in Alphaland, I was doing like with the two, three plates from each side. Yeah. And I'm barely like doing like one, one and a half plate here. So I'm like trying to explain to the people it's actually fucking heavy. <laughs> but it hurts my ego, what you said literally. So I'm like, uh, okay, never mind. Uh, but also, I mean, free weight just feels better. I don't know. I, I like, I just like some nice free weight incline. I don't have my uh, elbow sleeves with me. Yeah, but it's fine. We were planning, by the way, to film this for a while. And James like, yeah, bro, I injured my, like, my back hurts from, uh, from my arm wrestling. And I'm like, you're good, bro. Like, don't worry, just recover and like, we'll hit the workout. Same day he posted a story benching four plates. Wait, <laughs> and actually, I'm like, bro. Did I actually say that? <laughs> bro, you literally, and I see yours. No, actually, you were like, that was the story when you said, I matured because you were under four plates and you actually didn't leave four plates, but then you went in three and a half. That was that story. That was like yeah. two weeks ago or something. I'm a dickhead. <laughs> I probably showed up to the gym and I felt like, oh, I feel pretty good. And then I just did it. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. 
I'm in pain, bro, from my cat, Leo. Actually, it's Gianna's cat. Jumped up on the counter where he's not supposed to be, and he knows he's not supposed to be there, and you can yell his name and say, Leo, get off the counter, and he'll just fucking look over you and wait until you get mad enough to go get up to physically lift him off the counter. And as soon as I stood up to do that, he jumped off and tried to run by me. So I turned to run, slipped, like full speed, head first into the wall, like the top of my head, I swear to God, I got two inches shorter, bro. It like compressed my whole head down into my neck and I left a hole in the plaster, I'll put it right here. And that's not like the flimsy drywall, it's like wood reinforced, it is a sturdy wall. And I put a fucking big ass hole in it and fucked up my knee. I have never want, I, I wanted to like, blend the cat in my Nutribullet, bro. And just drink him for some protein. So, now I'm limping around, because I got injured by a cat, and we're gonna see if I'm still strong on this. Even your 30% is still stronger than my 100, so. If I'm doing high reps, I won't go up to three. Feels good so far. Eating, eating five meals a day in the off season. All you do on prep, good, uh, all you do on prep is cook and eat yeah. and train. You don't want to do that in the off season too. Exactly. You first. You huh? think it helps you keep the waist small? I think so. You know what? Like when I do heavy shit, like yeah. I started doing uh, like with six plates, rack pulls and shit like that. So when I do like that first, I literally feel like this tightens so much, it starts hurting yeah. because like it spreads out the, the well, waist. your waist? Right? Yeah. Yeah, so I think like it definitely prevents it to like, spread out when you lift it heavier. I think so. I wear, I usually wear a belt, not on bench though, because like on flat bench, with a belt like this, it wouldn't matter, but with those like thick leather belts, you actually can't really arch as much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can't get like a good position. But that's why I hate those, just straight. You know, when it don't, when it's everything like this size, there is no this thin tie part. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But yeah. everything is just like, I can't wear those. It fucks up my uh, ribs. Yeah, it's more like a power lifting belt. Yeah. 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 No, it does fuck up your ribs though. If you wear that for like heavy squats or yeah, something, yeah. you'll get like calluses that build up yeah. on your yeah. like, hips. Dorian said, oh, I could only have coffee for my workout today because I got to get to bed. It's 7 p.m. Dude, I had like <laughs> I had like a scoop and a half of strawberry jam before I came here, bro. I'm wired. That's good. That looks pretty easy, but you do it, bro. Feels kind of shaky, but. I think I'll have a good day today. Where you put your fingers usually? You have like, I, I always do like middle finger in this part. I like a little closer grip. So on regular bench, I go here. And then on incline, I usually go right about here. But that's why your arms are so huge, bro. Because like, yeah, you utilize so. your triceps, bro. Yeah. Yeah, three, two, one. Okay. Two. Okay. Nice. Shit, looks like it's moving easy for you. But uh, you'll see. Sometimes I surprise myself, sometimes in a, like in a good way, sometimes in a bad way. Yeah. It all depends, yeah. We'll start here and then I'm down to just do like, this can be like the heavy set and then we'll drop down and rep out 225. Bro's in the military fit. Come on. Yep. That's oh, he's throwing that around. That's a PR. Really? By one rep. Yeah. Really? Yeah, actually. <laughs> Woo! How many was it? 15? 15, yeah. So with incline, I don't I don't like to touch my chest. Because with flat, I feel like I don't overstretch my pec. But on incline, I feel like if I go all the way down, it stretches my pec out a little too much and I'm worried about tearing something. But it's also, like it's also heavier, bro. What do you mean? Like it's heavier when you actually pause it like before touching the chest, isn't it? Yeah, I would, say it's that, I would say it's about the same difficulty. And honestly, if I were to hit a one rep max on incline, I would probably touch my chest to get that stretch reflex. So maybe you could argue like you're a little stronger if you go all the way down. But for me, it's really just like, I'm not trying to tear something. That's controlled, you got it. Good. Good. Yep. 
Oh, easy. Easy. Nice. Nice. Come on. Up. Oh. Well, was that seven? Eight. That was eight. Yeah. Oh, you could definitely get 315 there. Oh, my face is like, like. <laughs> Dude, you look sick in that fucking compression. Thanks, bro. <laughs> it looks epic, bro. I oh, wish I had one of those on. But, uh, I mean, you could do 315. You could probably get it for like two or three reps. Maybe two. Are but, like, no? I don't think it's... You, we're bodybuilding. Yeah, no. You know? If we were on flat bench, I'd say let's hit a PR because it's fun. But, yeah. like, on incline, doing super heavy where you can only get, like, a couple reps. I mean, I'm guilty. I've done that within the past couple months. But, like... I try to not do that too often. The, the risk to rewards just not really there anymore. I agree, bro. One, uh, plus I'm starting prep next week. Oh yeah, don't fuck yourself up. Every workout you try to hit progressive overload? Uh, yeah, every workout I try to either do, at the very least, I try to do like an extra set. If I can't, if I can't do extra reps or extra weight, I'll just do like some extra volume. But normally I try to either do like, two and a half pounds more on something like small little increments or an, an extra rep. And uh, I've noticed that's just the best way. It's like the most methodical, I guess, you know? Like with this, for example, this. Oh yeah, so you're putting the dumbbells up. Yeah, there, yeah, I got up to, to the full stack and I was doing it for 19 reps. So then the next workout I did it for 19 reps, but I added like five pounds. And the next workout I added 7.5 and then yeah. 10. And I just did the same amount of reps every time. Makes sense. What do you? What is your feedback? Like, what do you need to develop? Well, I didn't actually get feedback from the judges, stupidly, because I got when I got the pro card, I was so like euphoric that I was just like saying hi to people and taking pictures and seeing my family and stuff. But I did get feedback from Kyle, my coach, and he said I was thinking he was going to say legs, but he actually didn't say legs. He said back. Back. Yeah, he said back and. Uh, he might have said quads, but that was it. So back is the most, like for classic, I was talking about this yesterday on my video, but like the biggest thing that sets people apart is when they hit that and like they hit the front double and their lats come out like a set of wings. Yeah, yeah. It's the best fucking look ever. And when someone doesn't have the lats there, they can have a huge chest, and huge delts, arms, whatever. But if they hit this and they've got little like skippy yeah. lats, it just, you're just never gonna win, you know? Yeah. I'd say that's the biggest, honestly, I'd say that's the biggest thing that sets Chris Bumstead apart yeah. is when he goes like this, boom, his lats come out like they True. quadruple into it. Plus his waist, bro, like he, his waist. Yeah, I mean, it's every muscle on him, but especially like his lats popping out. So I hit 23 reps. Last time I repped out two plates, I hit 23. So in the spirit of progressive overload, I should be hitting 24. I don't know if that's going to happen. I, I want to like, witness that though. 24. All right, fine. Just for you. This is for you. You got it, bro. Three, two, one. Okay. Easy, man. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. You got it, bro. Yes, sir. Come on. One more, come on, come on, oh, fuck. come on, try, you got it, bro. You, can, you, you got help it. me, baby. Try. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was easier than the previous one, bro. What the fuck? It's because I took, dude, I'm telling you, when you lock out, it's like cheating because you can take a little breather and all you need is a couple of breaths, get some oxygen in there, crank out another one. 24 with no elbow sleeves this time. So I guess they don't help that much. How, like, you have a master endurance, bro. Like if I hit the highest, like let's say three plates on this shit, right? Like I can hit two, three. After that, I'm not gonna be repping this for like, again, 20 reps. I'm probably gonna need to go like down and then I can. Yeah. Like well, you have the like, endurance, bro. I could not hit this for 24 again, like now. I, if I were to do this again, I'd probably get like 15. Yeah. But bro. I got still, I, I got enough energy for like two top sets. And then I have that's it. That's it. You got so you're shit, 50% more. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Come on, Dory. There we go. Keep going. Move this mic. Nice. Come on. 
There we go, bro. Keep going. Come on. Grow that chest. You start prep soon. It's your last week to grow. Come on. Bro, how the fuck you do 24? Come on. You got the shit. Nice. It's good. That's what I'm shit, saying. Bro. But but like that like second set after, like guys for me. It's yeah. like maximum where I can go. Oh yeah. Like I feel I mean, really fast fatigue. If we were to come in and and rep this out for our first set rather than doing the 275 before, we probably could have gotten an extra like three, four reps, but that's just the way it is. I still think this is for me the highest that I did this because I never even do that. So like, I didn't even know that I can do 16 on a flat one. How many was this? 16. You just got 16, 16. on? Bro, you got nothing to be complaining about. Oh, I didn't get 24. That's the fucking story no, of the no, bodybuilder no, right there. 24. Bro, like... it's Brian's incline for 225 incline for 16 reps. Oh, I didn't get 24. <laughs> no, but 24 is crazy. That's why I'm like... 16 is crazy. <laughs> 16 is great. You tried getting it at the Amateur Olympia last time? Is yeah. that what you tried getting it at? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, bro. Good luck. Yeah. Get in. Go do bro, like... I was, when I came there, I was like, okay, I know if I... Uh, even if I win my class, I'm not getting a pro card. Mm -hmm. But bro, no, I actually thought that he need... No. My bad. I thought usually like every pro show for a pro card, first two places in a room gets a pro card, right? Uh -huh. In a, each class, yeah. Each class. In Olympia, even if you win your class, you're still not pro. So you need to you go... You have to win the overall to overall get your pro... to get a pro card. Yeah, bro. So I was like immediately, when I, when I came there, I was like, okay, like, it's gonna be tough to win the class, but I, I can maybe get there, right? Uh-huh. And then I heard like, no, even if you get, then you go uh, against 10 other people that won their class. Yeah, bro, that's insane. And I'm like, bro, nah, like, nah, never nah, mind, nah. never <laughs> mind. So the guy that won was my class. He was exactly the same height, but he had like, what, 25 pounds on me. <laughs> Literally, 20, now imagine how much, yeah. like, the same height. Bro. It doesn't matter how good your genetics are at that point. If someone outweighs you by 25 pounds it's on stage, it's yeah, it's GG, bro. You look like my dad. It's also pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie. That's hard. I'm telling you right now, that is hard. He's always like, that's hard and then do like 24 reps. Here, <laughs> take the, take the uh, 10 off. And this then, one? yeah, I think you could probably get three for like 15, judging from your incline strength. Tuck those shoulders back, yep. Keep your elbows tucked. Oh, I like the stretch here. Yep. See, you got that shit. You probably got 20. Come on, nice. Try to tuck in your elbows a little more. Yeah. You probably feel that in your chest more when you do that. Come on. Come on, Dorian. I'm gonna help you for these last couple. Come on. Let's go. Okay, right. <laughs> there you go. That was 18 with your help, bro. Oh, Good my shit. God. I called it. No way, bro. No way. Yeah, I tuckered out real quick. I think it's because normally I'm used to longer rest times, but when I train with someone else, I like don't like to keep them waiting. So as soon as they, they're done, I'd like to get into my set. Shorter, shorter rest is more time under tension, pretty much. But longer rest, you actually can push more weight. I like long rest until the end of my workout, and then I do like a bunch of sets in succession, like a drop set or whatever, but it, it is a trade-off because you can't maintain like a great pump if you're always resting long. Yeah, I lose Fuck, my pump. Dude, I gotta get a few more reps. I gotta get a few more. I'm taking the 10 off. Six is unfucking acceptable, man. Dude, you think what? My like, form is bigger than my 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 arms. My I arms. don't know. Maybe I'm, not like it, but this, but like this for sure. Like this maybe, yeah, but I'm also flexing. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. It's just from arm wrestling, man. Yeah, I know, It's bro. literally just that. 
You train a little bit of arm wrestling. If you do an arm wrestling practice, which I don't suggest you do because you're about to start on prep, but your forearms and like your brachioradialis like this will be so like, it will be like the worst slash best soreness you've ever had ever. Like better than any workout, better than any exercise you can do. Just doing arm wrestling equally on both arms. With, a, with someone or like? Yeah, yeah, with, with people. Like going to an actual yeah. practice. You don't feel it in the moment, but then you wake up the next day and you like, I couldn't get my finger like past here. My arm was so swollen. That's I swear it. it grew like half an inch you know, from I that practice. I get pains here, bro. Like this part, when I arm wrestle. Like your elbow, yeah. kind of? Like here. Yeah, it's probably because you're going like, a lot of people, especially bodybuilders, they just go like sideways. Yeah. Like yeah. that. Yeah. The reason yeah. why my soreness is in my You're forearm kind of pull, bro. is because I'm pulling ah. back like this. So hammer curl me kind of, like, like pull, right, pull back to like here. That's the that's the motion I'm doing. Ah, gotcha. I'm pulling back yeah. like this. Yeah, I do, I always like do exactly. it full body, yeah. And that's yeah. gonna get right in your elbow yeah. and you could break your arm that's, too. That's how Ian Val Valier broke his, he broke uh, his humerus arm wrestling Devin Larratt. And Devin Larratt's like the, the goat of- Yeah, no, yeah, I know, like I know, yeah. And Ian is just strong as a fucking ox. And Devin said, like, I was feeling him on the table and he was, he was too strong for his own good. Like, he was so fucking strong that he just went Rah! and just broke his arm. And now he's got a scar. I think his left arm, he's got a scar up the back because they had to go in there and... Bro, that's, that would be my biggest fear. Yeah, but like, that's on, that only happens if you do it like that. If you treat it more like a pulling movement, I'm not saying it's the safest sport ever, but the worst you're gonna get is probably tendonitis. Yeah. You know, maybe not the best for like a bodybuilder, but like way better to get tendonitis than a broken fucking arm. Yeah. You wanna do this? I'll try. This is a 23 plate. That's why I work out with you, bro, because like, I can see how strong I am or how weak I am actually. Let's go, Dorian. Come on. Come on. Three, let's go. Come on. Get 10. Seven, let's go. Eight, yeah. Nine, come on, up, nice, another, that's all you, that's all you, that's all you, nope, no, it's not all you, okay. nope, <laughs> all right, so the next, the next thing I got for you is a pretty good one, because you like, <laughs> pull out the arm wrestling table, nah. it's, because you like, you're, you're more focused on like the pump and, and, and short rest times and time under tension. Yeah, you're gonna like this. Do you like this Arsenal pec deck? Yeah, I do. We're gonna do that and then superset with holding it like this and getting a squeeze at the top like yeah, that. Yeah, pump, it's, yeah, it's like the best pump I've ever gotten from a from a chest exercise. Do you ever try the, like what Hani does, like after workout? Like, Just squeezing bro, super I hard? Know, the other day video from she said, try after, bro, I got to start cramping immediately, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, let me pump and I'm like, I started like doing this and immediately got cramps. Yeah, I've seen, there's like a video of him doing that with Andre Diu. Yeah. And Andre's like, he looks like a fucking horse. Yeah. After like hitting chest. And you get, he's in like pain from how pumped he is. Six. Seven. Woo! You're gonna like this one, Dory. <laughs> I see. I see from you. When someone starts cutting, three. You know, when like, I'm breathing there, I know it's fucking heavy, bro. Nice. It squeezed the top. Nice. Yeah, nice. Really focus on that squeeze at the top. Yeah, there we go. There we go, Dorian. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. Right before failure. Leave a little bit. That's good. That's good. Now come over here. Yeah. Try to lock out if you can. Get in here. Yeah. This shit's hard as a rock. Oh my god. Come on. Nice. Squeeze. Come on. Nice. Push, push, push. Good. Oh, oh my god. Gotta get the same amount. How much is that? Seven, six and a half. Okay, seven. Let's call it seven. You gotta get seven. Let's go. 
Seven reps. Come on. One, two, focus on that squeeze at the top. Squeeze, three, four, come on. Five, six, squeeze, come on, last one. Nice. Good shit. Dorian was saying he sees my stories and it encouraged him to train harder. No, I swear, I swear. Bro, I was doing, I started with the hex squat. I was afraid of weight. I'm like, five, six plates is already, it's already a lot on, on, even though this one is not so heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Right, This right. hex squat. So like next day I tried seven, I'm like, seven is already a lot. Last time I did nine, nine plates, six reps. Nine on nine. each side, yeah. on the hex squat? Yep. That's good, bro. Yeah. Post on a story, because I was looking at you, I'm like, you're repping seven plates 15 times. I'm like, God fucking damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta step up this shit. My legs are actually pretty strong because I played soccer, even though they're like fucking toothpicks. But I'm um, strong, dude. But I'm, I was like, bro, and you're gonna see. Nah, I'm I don't know if I could do nine plates for more than a few reps. I can't do though the the things that you do on uh, on uh, uh, how it's called. Uh, oh, RDL. Bro, they no, I will break. Oh, my my ham is good. Ham's good there, yeah. Even though you saw, I also strong, but that moment, I feel my back way too much. Yeah. If you do when I did my drop set, normally I feel it more in my glutes and hamstrings. But when I did the drop set, I did a drop set of my story. You see that with Chris Tren? Yeah. And yeah, I started yeah, yeah, at four, yeah, then I went yeah. to three, and then two. And those are like deep muscles in here, like the really deep ones that kind of keep your posture like up. Bro, the whole ride home, I had to put my seat all the way back. G was there. I literally was driving like this yeah. with my seat fully reclined because my back was so fucking fried. Well, I can imagine, bro, for that. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to walk. Yeah, when I ask you to just... train with me, you don't train like this. Bro. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What the fuck? That's Damn. Crazy. It's harder than mine, bro. Three. <laughs> Seven again? No, seven again. <laughs> it's so fucking weird treating this like, like a bench PR. That's how much like mental energy I have to put into it. Uh. Seven. Eight. Keep that same tempo. Come on. Yup. Nope. It was 17 and a half. Seven reps again, come on. Two, three, come on. Four, follow all the way through. Five, nice. Six, come on, last one. Squeeze. Nice. Seven. Oh, my God. Ooh. oh yeah, I feel this. Six, last oh one, squeeze the top. Seven, squeeze. Nice. Mm, fuck. Ooh. I like that energy, man. <laughs> yes. I like the energy. <laughs> I want one of these, bro. Oh, one of these. One of these. You gotta adapt yourself these. up. When I leave you hanging. Like <laughs> when you have a workout where you really make it count, and like, especially when you train with someone else who's training hard, that's honestly when you're gonna have the best workouts. You can have great solo workouts, but in my opinion, like, when you train with someone else who also wants to train hard and doesn't want to just fuck around, that's when you're gonna have your true like really good workouts. And it's all, you almost feel like you make the same amount of progress as like 10 regular half-ass sessions in one single like really good session. Who's the strongest you trained so far? Like fucking like? Larry Wheels. Strongest person I've trained with? Larry, yeah. Yeah, Larry just, I mean, that was just like belittling. Like I trained with him and I'm like, why am I even here? And like our circle. Oh, in our circle? Um. I mean, you're up there. I don't know anyone who's, you're keeping up with me the same weight that I'm using on Yeah, here. they're pretty strong. Oh, twins. Yeah, of course. I gotta forget the twins, they're stronger than me. But like, I haven't, they're way stronger than me on bench. But I haven't really, I've only like hit chest with them once. But on like back, we're pretty similar in strength on like, you know, back. So yeah, but they are way stronger than me on bench. That, that's true, it depends which muscle group. Also. Some people are really fucking strong in some, some things.
They, they have the combination of like shorter arms, but also fucking amazing chest genetics. Yeah. Like their chest is just, you can just see the way that it like pops out and the way it's shaped. It's just built to fucking press. It's literally designed to press. How is someone strong? Because like, let's say you can like count. Okay, obviously you can. They're, they're fucking strong on bench press, but they do bench all the time. I know when someone's strong when it actually doesn't do bench, but then comes and lifts four plates. <laughs> yeah. Then you know someone's, but you know what I mean? Because well, yeah, they're no, probably- like, you, don't, you don't hit incline, but you did 275 for, for eight, and then you did 225 for what, like 16? Yeah. Yeah, that's like, that's real strong. And same with hack squat. Like I know how nine plates on that hack feels. That shit is no joke. That was only a day, bro. One day I felt great, that was last time. I felt great, I was like, I'm gonna try it, bro. Then smooth. Usually I went like up to seven, and then I tried nine, I was like, damn. But, uh, because like it's movement, where every machine is different. You know what I mean? So if someone actually like first I try, but especially like bro, other, other day a kid came and put one plate from each side on a T-bar row. And I was like, bro, you don't know how heavy that is, bro. Kid, yeah. kid came, rack it off and like this, <laughs> bro fell on his head literally. I was like, I tried to not to laugh because like, but then you see people come first time and like. Yeah, dude, like I'm, like I'm a pretty big guy and I was doing, I was doing a plate on each side for eight reps, yeah. like basically hitting failure. You know, like that, that T-bar row is no fucking joke. That's, that's heavy, bro. You are, yeah, I think you're one of the strongest in our circle when it comes to that, but I mentioned endurance, but you have that like, you can go, bro. You can go like on a high weight, not like drop set and you like go from three plates to one plate. maintain the whole workout whole doing a good amount of weight. Yeah, exactly. that is true. Exactly, that is true. exactly. But I also, to be fair, I do take long rests. Like when Still I train alone, I usually, I like to be able to do like, the, a similar amount of weight for my second set as I did my first set. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. When Madrid played soccer, he said his calves got like uncomfortably big. Like they got really? too big where he didn't want them to grow anymore. Really? So it's totally just genetics. Were you right? We were like sprinting like this, bro? Dude, time? no, it's just genetics, bro. They just, one day I looked down and my calves were fucking massive. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. no, I just looked down and like I had yeah. fucking cows. Yeah. No, bro, I like, I literally have, what is this, bro? I have That's short. Not that bad. That's not that bad. No, I, I short. Have, no, I have the same thing. Literally, yeah, have you have short. You yeah. have short. Yeah, you yeah. have short. For us, whoever has a short, it's really difficult to have big calves. It is. It's really difficult to develop calves. And I just have that. Those are sprinter calves, you yeah. know? Yeah. They're good. They're good for like athletics, not so good for bodybuilding. They're good for jumping. Shit like they didn't know why I read that summer. Whoever has a shorter calves, it means you have a uh, longer. Uh, how it's called this? Achilles. Achilles tendon. Yep. And well, you, you also, know who has that long? Kangaroos. <laughs> no, yeah, I literally, but, so but, because you're actually like your ability to jump higher are actually genetically already. Yeah. If you train. But also think it's because your ability to sprint fast, you have to move your leg forward and back as fast as you can. And when you have a huge calf that goes all the way down here, that's a lot of weight yeah. on your leg that you have to be swinging around. Yeah. When you have short, strong calves, your leg, your lower leg weighs less and you're able to like kick it yeah. faster. I bet no. you would be fast if you're not like if you're not stiff. You are a bit fucking fast. I am fast. I, I will say that confidently. Yeah, I used to be a I, I used to be a long like jump. Fast. I swear. A long jump and triple jump, in when I did track. Now I don't really try to sprint that much because I busted up my uh, oblique yeah. and adductor, but I can still. No, you sprint. you have that build. I, I bet you're fucking fast. I literally plus your arms. Arms are the ones that like. They do. They the create pool, so much momentum. Yeah, they have momentum, so you can, you can even, you can. Uh... Dude, did you ever see Kevin? Lev is it Lavroni or Lavrone? People are gonna roast over that. But yeah, have you seen him sprint against the Olympic sprinter? He like he did a like a sprint thing against an Olympic sprinter back in the day, and he was low key like not that far behind him, like only a few paces behind him. And bro, seeing Kevin Lavrone fucking run full speed. Just like this absolute house of a human. It was the funniest thing. <laughs> straighten that, straighten the, uh, yeah, there you go. Damn, dude, okay, okay. That's crazy.
Instead of drop sets, let's just go back and forth with no rest. Okay. So get this for as many as I'm looking out, bro. Honestly, it was pretty heavy. I'm not gonna lie. There we go, Dorian. Come on. Damn! Look at that shoulder mobility, man. It's able to come all the way back. <clears throat> Come on, Dorian. Let's go. Good. Nice. Up. Oh. All right. Now we'll drop this. Three. Ah. Yes, sir. Three. Three. Ah. All right. Back to back. My chest hurts right now. Good thing I have a cheat meal today. <laughs> you got one hour to eat. Yeah. Let's go, Dory. Bye. Come on, at least ten. Five, squeeze at the bottom. Let's go. Six, squeeze, nice. Seven, come on. Eight, come oh. on. Two more. Nine. This is actually ten, but okay. Oh, that's ten. All right. Then ten. <laughs> Fuck me. It's all left. Bro. All right. There we go. Drop that to side to 80 if you don't mind. Thanks, bro. Oh, we started this on a... We started this on 100 and now oh. we're going... Yeah. We went 90 and now we're... We haven't on this one, Dad. 80. Woo! I'm chest is, I haven't even my tried. chest is already sore, bro. Ooh. One. Dude, if you like pop out your chest and almost like scoop in like this. Well, then you're so like already in a pain, it's difficult to do that. Bro. I know. Bro, I, I saw when you were doing the, the incline bench, bro, your front delts, even now, bro, your front delts are crazy. Thanks, bro. So I, I don't train directly. Two. There we go. Three. Four. Come on. Nice. Squeeze at the bottom. Squeeze that chest. Let's go. Squeeze. Come on, Dorian. Nice. Fuck. Oh my god. It's a lack of food. We're gonna go all the way down to 50. I used all of my food today from this workout. Everything is out. Woo. Mm. 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 Come on. Ah. Arr. Arr. Oh. Ah. Ah. Come on. Right. Crazy. Ooh. Let's go. Ooh. Bro, it's difficult even to catch it just like this right now. Mm. Off your chest now. Mm. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> <clears throat> Come on, Dory. Squeeze. Oh. Squeeze the top. Squeeze. Oh my god. Fuck. Bro, I'm not a moaner, so when you hear me making sound, that means I'm baby. I never thought I'd say I turned Dorian into a moaner. <laughs> I guess I did. That's a good squeeze. Yeah. Bro. Woo. Oh my god. There we go. Off that chest out. Squeeze. Nice. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, oh my god. There we go. 
Go on, Dorian. <clears throat> oh. Oh. All right, last one. 50. <laughs> difficult to do this movement by itself right now. <laughs> One? Yeah. Try holding it like this. Got me in it. Like you're pushing forward. Okay. Just try it. That little like like this. Movements. Yeah. And step forward a little more. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I like. Yeah. That. You see that? What I mean? <clears throat> Come on. Wrap it out. <clears throat> Squeeze it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Here we go. Oh my god. Nice. Oh. oh. That was it right there. It separates the boys from the men. I'm not I'm not able to push myself by myself so hard. Like I always Right. I would do like I would do maybe three, but we just did five. Yeah. We did 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. So actually we did six. Yeah. I would do probably three alone. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's just like different, I don't know. You can't push yourself, but it's up to one, like up to the degree. You push know yourself what? up to like 90% solo, yeah. you know? Yeah. But you need that other person there that like forces you to like just go beyond. Yeah. It's, cause you think you've hit it when you're alone. You're like, oh, that was good, yeah. But then if you got someone there telling you no, you have 10 left in the tank. Yeah. And you're telling exactly. yourself, no, I don't, but I guess I got to do it. Yeah. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Then all of a sudden you realize you do have 10 left in the tank. You just didn't realize it. Or if someone's like way stronger than you are and someone does like 20 reps and you can barely do on normal days five reps, but you're probably going to do more. Yeah. Just because he, like this part, like you don't want to fucking be five and someone else did 35. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. And like Kyle, my coach does that better than so many people. Like I'll be... I'll be doing an exercise and I'll think I'm about to like finish my set and it'll be like, come on, 12 more. You got 12 more. I'm like, Kyle, I got like 12, 12 more, bro. <laughs> That's like, not one more. Sometimes 12, I, I probably only, I actually only have like four more, but then he'll help me. Yeah. And he doesn't let me stop until I get that 12. But those kinds of workouts where you're going above 100%, you can't do that every time yeah. or you'll just smoke yourself. That's like a once every few months type of type of workout, you know? That's true, that's if true. If I trained with Kyle like that every single time I worked out, I would just be just dead. I would just be dead, you know? I agree. You wanna do uh, something else? Yeah, so but my chest is pretty toast. We can do another chest thing if you want, but I would move on to like some triceps if you wanna do that. You wanna do tries? Yeah. All right. So, I mean, for me, triceps, I just like standard push downs. And we can do some of that. We can do another chest movement if you want. Premium. All right, so we're gonna do some uh, some incline flies now, just cause he's got prep in a week and you know, I wanna burn out his chest as much as we can before he starts prep. So normally I probably would cut it right here in terms of like chest volume. My chest is pretty cooked, but we can fit in some sub maximal uh, incline flies. There we go. One more. Bryce. Oh. Ah. Oh my God, bro, that might be it for chest. I might have to move on to some tricep. Yeah, okay, let's do, let's do one. Well, you gotta yeah. do, 
Bro, I feel it like it hurts. This one hurts right now. Nice. <clears throat> Come on, a couple more. Squeeze the top. Squeeze. Oh. Gotcha, ah, come on. Uh. Bro, they are so public, I, I can't even like clock it like this normally, bro. Not with the weight on top of that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Fuck, it just cramped all up my lap. Yeah. I'm tapped, man. It's time for some Shake Shack. Ooh. Yeah, that does feel good. Try wide. I did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that actually feels great. I usually use the strap just because it's like what I'm used to, but this one is better. Do you like, like this or turn it like? No, 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 yeah. Down like that. And then almost focus on pushing apart like you do with the strap. Oh, yeah. I like yeah. This. Squeeze the bottom. Yeah. Dude, wait. Madrid, come here. You can see the fucking tricep striations through the shirt. <laughs> That's crazy. Don't you don't talk about crazy, bro. You have a fucking four shoes there. <clears throat> oh my god. Dude. Oh gas. Yeah. Wrap it up one more. I'm gonna hear fast uh, because I just saw these pills. Uh Crazy story, I me and Kelsey are looking for a house like last couple of days. And we went right here, like Canoga Park to check a house. We come in from the house, the guy's opening, trying to open the door. He's like, type the pin inside and uh, he can open the door, door gate of a house, which is like brand new built for a rent, right? <laughs> and like, we are like, okay, we'll, we'll wait, no problem. He's a maintenance guy comes, jumps over the fence, opens the gate for us from uh, outside. So we are now in the back, front yard. Yeah. We come to the front door of the house. They try to open front door. Doesn't there is no open. log box. And he's like, where's the log box? I usually leave the log box with the pin pad so you can open the house. There is no log box. So they're like, I don't know. Like, this is a brand new build. Like, I don't know if no one was here. So the maintenance guy comes from the, like, outer side and goes from the, like, basement window or something. I don't even know how he entered the house. Gets in the house. Gets in the house, open the door for us. We entered the house. So he's, like, showing us the house. Yeah. We entered the main room. There is, like, hundreds of mobile phones on the ground and drugs all around the fucking place so squatters like oh, <laughs> invaded shit. the house and they were selling drugs drugs from the house that we were supposed to rent Damn, dude. and we were like i was like what the, like there's like drugs all around the place and he's like oh, i'm sorry guys like i need to call the cops i can't show you the house right now we we're like yeah yeah yeah, all good all good like all good no i would have grabbed grabbed you as on the way out oh, i was like oh, what the hell we're all right here but no i was like i would have been like we'll take it i don't even know <laughs> yeah, what it was just like it was like weed it was like cocaine probably and shit like I but i don't know i don't know but it was like, oh disgusting <laughs> yeah no we found the house we signed the lease now today oh, house a good spot uh vinetka two minutes away from here oh, point, point eight miles yeah house oh, no. four okay. bedroom four restaurant and we had apartment two bedroom so now we like it's Damn, way bro, better. What's the rent on that? Forty six hundred only. It's fucking less than I pay, dude. Yeah, bro. And our apartment is just four four thousand, so I don't train arms directly that often, but well, you don't have to. Do. My triceps could use a little bit of work. My biceps are uh, not so much. My biceps are pretty like I yeah. got pretty good biceps. Pretty crazy. So I don't train them. But my triceps could always use like a little bit of work. But yeah. I wouldn't say so though, I think. Thanks, bro. I, well, I also have a pump in them right now. I need yeah, to remember. Like, I, from the side, I'm okay, kind of. Oh, yeah. No, same. This honestly, sa same with me. When I don't have a pump, like, they always look big. If I'm in, like, a t-shirt from the side, yeah. they'll look big. What but then mean? when I turn to the front, I, well, part of it's genetics, but also part of it is, like, your brachialis right here. Mm. If you can get that shit huge. What is that? So, like, overhead? Hammer curls. Hammer. Yeah. And overhead. Probably. A little yes, bit. but your overhand is going to work more this muscle here and like your extensor muscles in your forearm 
and it will work to brachialis too, but really like hammer curls yeah. are gonna work it a lot. I think if I do another rep, I'm just gonna fucking fall apart. Yeah. Just gonna disassemble, so. All that, all those calories are gonna go in to the chest fiber. I have like thousand, thousand calories, extra free meal per day, I'd never, like it's probably my, my thousand calories turns out to be five, six thousand always. I swear, bro. If Alex watches this, I'm sorry, bro. It works. <laughs> it works, bro. It works. I'm not fat, so it works, bro. Anyway, as long as you're, as long as you tell him that, then oh, like I that, know. that I just said in the camera, bro. I don't tell him, bro. No, it's not that, bro. Okay, like I don't count my cheat meals. I'm yeah, just but... assuming how much I eat. But I don't, I don't want to. If I have like thousand calories, I don't want to count that, bro. If I want to enjoy my cheat meal, I want to enjoy. It. Like I don't right. care if it's thousand or three thousand or three, bro. Whatever I eat, I poop it out anyways. My metabolism is like extremely fast. Yeah, yeah, that happens on the bulk. Well, well he was with me on uh, ask him my peak week. How I was looking? I was eating four and a half thousand calories on my peak week. On my peak week. What the fuck? Every like every day, like eight pancakes. You like stacks of pancakes. steak of pancakes and a muffins every day. Peak week, bro. What were you doing like two weeks out? How many calories? Pretty similar. So four thousand up till no cardio. No, bro, nothing. So what you, how many calories are you eating on the bulk then? Well, like 10, it's, it's also different because we kind of like, he makes me like my metabolism run pro because it's structured meal plan. So when I get off of the season, it's pretty similar. I don't actually, I gain weight on the same, which is crazy. I do eat more, you know why? Because I have two, three meals per week. So yeah. I have exactly the same pretty much calories, but I have two extra free meals, which I don't count. That's and that's what puts me in a difference in a, of like, what? 30 pounds of body weight? It's just yeah. a couple free meals? Yeah, because uh, I also, when I'm cutting, that I eat structured meal plan, which is the foods that I digest extremely fast. Uh -huh. So, for example, if I eat 4,000 calories worth of chicken and rice, I'm going to cut on that any given day. But if I eat 4,000 calories on a pizza, burgers, and shit like that, I'm going to probably gain, but it's weird. My body responds on, like... I'm that's why I'm saying, like, when Greg just said and shit like that, he's like, calories, it's not, bro. When it comes to competing, it's not. Maybe for some people, I'm not going to lie, maybe for some people it works. Not for everyone. For me, it doesn't work. For example, I can eat a shit ton of calories if I eat clean. Like, I'm never going to gain weight. If I start mixing around, if I start eating one day pizza, one day this, one day that, then I start gaining weight. Literally. It's also, deep. I don't know how he even does it. He, like, builds my metabolism through the period. Like, he lowers me down yeah, and he yeah, starts yeah. building back up. And then I come to the point where I'm, like, eating 4,000 calories, but I'm still dropping weight. It doesn't just happen like I'm like first he goes down. Doing, I remember you on the stairmaster. No, you weren't doing cardio. This season, no, bro. Remember when he took my cardio off, like before peak week. When we came to Tampa, I was already not not doing cardio. He so I was like, for doing cardio and the... yeah, he was yelling at me. But I was I was doing cardio in the gym by myself. Like he came down, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Literally, like three minutes, out, just screaming, so, like screaming. I'm like. I was just walking and he's like don't fucking walk like this and I'm like okay bro I was just digesting the food bro. because I was eating so I was eating 400 like grams of rice every meal so it's like a big big chunk of food that's in my so belly weird bro that is that's weird I don't know so my metabolism was always always fast but like he was with me at, uh, like I'm not lying were you on like T3 or something no T4 no bro not, no nothing claim this food that bro like when like also like before that because I was dropping so fast, wait. Like two weeks out for this movie. Bro had a fucking pituitary tumor and just didn't even know about it. I don't, I don't, what I have fuck? no idea. It's really weird, bro. I think my, maybe it's thyroid or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even, I don't know. That's crazy. That is crazy, but I'm happy. I was on, I was, I started with 4K, but I, and I lost weight at first on about 4,100 calories because Kyle put me on clean food and a lot of it, he said, that was just me shitting out, like, you know, when you eat a lot of processed food or fast food or whatever, you kind of just are full of food all the time, like, full yeah. of shit. Exactly. So when he put me on, well, dig like, good digesting foods, even though the calories were the same, I lost, like, actual shit weight. Yeah. Like, I just pooped out a lot of, like, weight, and my gut was moving really well, and then he slowly tapered me down from there, you know? Yeah, but that, that's, that's what that, exactly, that's, that's that, that's a big difference, because you're, your body starts to be more efficient because of the type of food. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. not the same how your body digests the freaking, uh, I don't know what has a shit ton of sugar out of it. Like, you put shit on maple syrup, right? right. Or something like that. It's, it slowed down your metabolism. Even though it's zero calories, it slowed down a lot. Or you eat, like, clean rice without the condiments, anyway, anything. Mm -hmm. It speeds up your metabolism because it just goes through. So whatever well, like that... Digestion. Exactly, like digestion. Exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. No, digestion. Like a lot of, when you're having a bunch of fake sugars and stuff on prep, like, it does fuck with your gut. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Like maybe one or two diet cokes a day doesn't, 
But if you're doing it every meal, which like I was on prep because yeah. you're craving, I was doing like Coke Zero every meal. And it definitely like fucks with your gut a little bit. Yeah. All those fake sugars.